Well, here's a tiny little board. Um, I put it next to an LED here for uh, size relationships. Uh, it is a little microphone. It's, uh, I think these are electric, uh, electric uh, condenser microphones. And um, it has four pins on it, 100 mil centers, a little PC board on the back with some, some parts on it. Um, four pins. They're labeled uh, VG and O, uh, power, ground, and output. And it's a little microphone with a little amplifier on the back. Um, it uses a, a clever little single chip um, preamp. And it ha also has a 3.3 volt regulator. So I, I, I believe you can probably power this thing up with 5 volts. Takes it down to 3.3. 3.3 powers the uh, powers the IC, and the IC does the rest. So uh, let's take a look at the data sheet on this thing. So this is a uh, Maxim integrated uh, part. Um, a, a good camp company. They build lots of really cool stuff. Um, I've actually consulted for them on some uh, Opto Electronics pro products, but um, this is a Max. A 9812 um, that's on the on the board, and let's take a look at the uh, block diagram. So it's a 20 dB amplifier input output, and then it also has a uh, a 2.3 volt reference built into it, and the reference is actually to output um, to the microphone. So remember, the microphones often need to have phantom power of some voltage. And this one outputs uh, 2.3 volts to the um, microphone, which has an FET in it. Basically, they only have a single FET in it. But that biases the uh, FET in the microphone, and then that comes on the input. So let's see what kind of specs this thing has. Um, 100 dB power supply ripple rejection, so that's great. Uh, 230 microamp quiescent current. There's a, a shutdown uh, pin on the on the part. Um, 0 0.015 total harmonic distortion. Very good. Um, 100 nanoamp shutdown mode. I kind of kind of already said that, didn't I? Um, rail to rail outputs 20 dB available in a teeny six pin package. Yeah, it's teeny. It's uh, we saw it in there. It's 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 really teeny. Uh, so let's um, let's take a look at how this thing is generally used. Go to a schematic here. Uh, this is basically how the part's being used in the uh, in the little board little board here. Um, power comes in. So not shown here would be a 3.3 volt regulator. The 3.3 feeds this, so this is operating at 3.3 volts. Uh, the shutdown is just tied high. Uh, there's input output and a 2.2K resistor is, is uh, recommended here in this schematic. And that's exactly what's inside this board is the 2.2K resistor and a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. So this is exactly what's in there. I don't think this capacitor is in this circuit. I think uh, pin three comes directly out. I don't think I don't think that capacitor is on the board. Um, so uh, yeah, so let's hook it up and uh, see if it does something. Okay, um, I just have it on the corner of the board here. I'm supplying power five, five volts to it, um, and I'm taking the output into the uh, into the oscilloscope, and I think you can hear my voice and. Uh, let me try to lock down the tripod. So here I am about uh, six inches away. Test, test, test. One, two, three. Looks like it's getting about um, plus or minus 100 microvolts of output. So quite nice. Looks quite clean too. So let's see if we can't uh, hook this up and uh, see what it sounds like.
Okay, I'm going to take my little uh, 3.5 millimeter jack and connect it here to ground and output. And I think I should, I think I should put a capacitor in there first. The uh, the output pin what had a DC bias on it, and I'm not sure if that's uh, that's probably okay. Well, that's probably okay. I'm gonna assume it's okay to put on my recorder. <laughs> so let me uh, zoom in on that so you can see what I'm doing here. So get rid of my oscilloscope. All right, so once again, I have the microphone and a 3.5 millimeter jack. And I will take my recorder, plug that in there and give you some audio. I think I am maxing out the uh, input to this microphone. So let me uh, let me adjust the uh, the gain setting of the uh, gain setting of the recorder so I'm not clipping. Okay, I've adjusted the uh, levels. Um, for the recorder. The recorder has three settings. It has uh, high, medium, and low. And I use high for the uh, lavier mic that I have. Um, but for this, it looks like uh, there's quite a bit of amplification in the microphone itself. So I've set the sensitivity to low. And we'll see how we're doing the audio. Uh, right now, about one foot away. One, two, three. Now I'm about six inches away, one, two, three. Now about three inches away, one, two, three. Yeah, we'll see how that sounds. Okay, uh, I've got it uh, set up now. We have the uh, Sony recorder hooked directly up to the board. I had to readjust the levels on the recorder. Typically the uh, lapel mic that I use, I have the sensitivity set to high. That was too much for this and I had to set the sensitivity to low. There's just low, medium, and high. There's no, you know, adjustment for these things. It's just resetting. So this is low now. And uh, I'm about one foot away. One, two, three, test. One, two, three. Now I'm about six inches away. One, two, three, test. One, two, three. So we'll see what that sounds like. Okay, well, um, I think you can find these uh, all over the place, probably. Um, I don't remember where, where I ordered this thing or mm, how it came to me, <laughs> but uh, uh, it was in a package recently and I uh, got around to hooking it up uh, since I've been playing with microphones. I was uh, interested in, in chips like this. There's, there's a couple other ones as well um, that are even fancier than this Maxim chip, but anyway. Uh, I don't think the quality is all that great on this microphone. It might be interesting to remove this microphone and put the Russian microphone uh, in its place. So I might do that. I've taken off the uh, electric microphone here. Uh, it's just two pins. And we have the uh, Russian microphone, which has three pins. So what are we going to do with three pins? So we have power ground and out. And over here we only have power or out and ground and a phantom power that goes through a 2.2 K resistor. So I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, uh, take the Russian microphone and wire it up here. So power out and ground and uh, maybe remove this resistor and see if it works. All right, so I have the uh, microphone wired up, power ground and out, and now, oops, now I'm gonna take my 3.5 millimeter and solder it onto there as well. See, I've got, uh, this just needs ground and out. So ground and out goes there, like that. Out. 
around. I'm going to put a bit of solder on the on the piece here. Let's see if I can get these to stick together. Looks good. And this is out. If I can get those to stick together. That looks good. All right. So has everything but power. All right. Let's give that a try. Um, yeah. Let's hook up five volts and we'll see if we can record. So this is with uh, an external power supply, so it might be noisy. We can try it with a battery power supply, but. Uh, this is the Russian microphone and the, what is it, 90, Max 9812 uh, preamplifier. And we'll see what kind of, uh, see what kind of audio we get. Let me put this in frame so you can watch what I'm doing here. Uh, so I have it. There we go. Just lost my ground. I'm recording it. Okay, there we go. So, test, test, test. Russian microphone, one, two, three, four. All right, see how that worked. Well, there we go. Um, we used a little board, we removed the microphone. Uh, the board is uh, five volts in, regulated to 3.3, goes into a max uh, 9812. That sends out a 2.3 volt uh, source to the microphone. The microphone really wants a 4 volt source, but it seems to work at 2.3. Uh, the, the noise seemed to be pretty quiet. Uh, I'll know better when I mix the video, but it seems pretty cool. So I can make this a lot prettier, get it, get it really small. But uh, that's just a fun thing to play with.